tau overflows process of awakening of krishna murti i need to speak more on krishna murti's enlightenment and in that light different aspects of enlightenment and why it is necessary and related aspect this is an excerpt from krishna murti the years of awakening by mary lutens Ever since I left Australia I have been thinking and deliberating about the message which the master K H Kutumi was the master who was assigned by any besant to teach Krishna murti and nitya when they were little children so Krishna murti calls Kutumi as K H the master K H gave me while i was there i naturally wanted to achieve those orders as soon as i could and i was to a certain extent uncertain as to the best method of attaining the ideals which were put before me i do not think a day passed without spending some thought over it but i was ashamed to say all this was done most casually and rather carelessly but at the back of my mind the message of the master ever dwelt well since august 3rd i meditated regularly for about 30 minutes every morning i could to my astonishment concentrate with considerable ease and within a few days i began to see clearly where i had failed and where i was failing immediately i set about consciously to annihilate the wrong accumulations of the past years this is very clearly explained by jidu and that naturally and normally happens with most of the seekers they start realizing and seeing clearly where they have failed and where they are failing and with a little more efforts they are able to annihilate the wrong accumulations of the past years with the same deliberation i set about to find out ways and means to achieve my aims first i realized that i had to harmonize all my other bodies with the buddhic plane the highest plane of consciousness buddhic plane is the highest plane of consciousness and to bring about this happy combination i had to find out what my ego wanted on buddhic plane buddhic comes from the word buddhi means intellect intellectual plane to harmonize the various bodies i had to keep them vibrating at the same t- uh, same rate as the buddhic and to do this i had to find out what was the vital interest of the buddhi with ease which rather astonished me i found the main interest on that high plane was to serve the lord matri and the masters with that idea clear to my my physical mind i had to direct and control the other bodies to act and to think the same as one the noble and the spiritual plane during that period of less and less um, less than 3 weeks i concentrated to keep my mind in the image of lord matri throughout the entire day and i found no difficulty in doing this i found that i was getting calmer and more serene my whole outlook on life was changed then on 17th of august i felt acute pain at the nape of my neck and i had to cut down my meditation to 15 minutes the pain instead of getting better as i had hoped grew worse the climax was reached on the 19th i could not think nor i was able to do anything and i was forced by friends here 
to retire to bed. Then I became almost unconscious, though I was well aware of what was happening around me. This I need to explain in the subsequent sessions when I speak on the aspects of Krishnamurti. I came to myself at that noon each day. On the first day I was in the state and more conscious of the things around me. I had the first most extraordinary experience. There was a man mending the road. That man was myself and pickaxe he had was myself, seeing self in all, the omnipresence. The very stone which he was breaking was uh, up, was a part of me. My ten, the tender blade of grass was my very being, and the three besides the man was myself. I almost could feel and think like a road mender, and I could feel the wind passing through the trees and the little ant on the blade of the grass I could feel. The birds, the dust and the very noise were a part of me. Just then there was a car passing by the same distance. I was the driver and the engine and the tires. As the car went further away from me, I was going away from myself. I was in everything or rather everything was in me. Imagine inanimate and animate the mountain, the worm and all breathing things. All day long I remained in this happy condition. I could not eat anything and again at about six I began to lose my physical body and naturally the physical elemental did what it liked. I was semi-conscious. The morning of the next day, 20th of August, was almost the same as the previous day and I could, could not tolerate too much people in the room. I could feel them in rather a curious way and their vibrations got my nerves. That evening at about the same hour of six, I felt worse than ever. I wanted nobody near me, nor anybody to touch me. I was feeling extremely tired and weak. I think I was weeping from mere exhaustion and lack of physical control. My head was pretty bad and at the top of the head, as though many needles were being driven in. While I was in this state, I felt that the bed in which I was lying was the same one as was the previous day. It was dirty and filthy beyond imagination I could not lie on this. Suddenly I found myself sitting on the floor and Nitya and Rosalind asking me to get into the bed. I asked them not to touch me and cried cried out that the bed was not clean. I went on like this for some time till eventually I wandered out on the veranda and sat a few, sat a few moments exhausted and slightly calmer at that time. I began to come to myself and finally, Mr. Warrington asked me to go under the pepper tree which was near the house. This will continue as I will explain the other aspects of it. Enough for now.